Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, we're going to continue from the first video about our OpenVos install. This one, what I want to walk you guys through is getting it updated, getting the database updated so we can see the latest and greatest vulnerabilities. And I'll show you guys how to do that, write a little Bash Shell script to have it all automated so you can just double click or we can just run this Bash Shell in the terminal. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thanks. All right, guys, welcome back. All right, so again, we're going to be using uh, Kali 2020, and we're just going to resume right where we where I left off installing OpenVos. And this is um, this is it. I did a little snapshot really quick. So the way you do that is you can right click on the VM, and then do snapshot. Where's snapshot? I just oh right here. Snapshot. I updated this so. So snapshots and then it's going to show you here and you can just take snapshot and you can just label it name it okay and this is my this is my latest so I want to start this VM and we're going to log into it and we're going to update the database so the OpenVos database is up to par and I'll show you guys how to do that and it's it's a pretty fairly simple process it can take some time so be patient it you know pulls all the updates from their repository and all that. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty easy process, but it's time consuming. But it's good to have your database up to date just to make sure everything is, you know, the latest and greatest, right? So we'll wait till our Kali 2020 box boots up. All right, so my username is Patrick and my fancy, fancy password, all right? So, I created this script and I want to show you guys what to do and how to create this script. So once my desktop loads up, I'll have that. And I have this little script right here. But before we do that, say for example, if we go to, let's open up. You know, if you install it, if you installed it and you had the service running, blah, blah, blah. And if I just, and right now I just booted this VM up, right? Like brand new. If I went to my web browser, and just to check, I have a little favorite here. It's probably going to say, uh, you know, it's unable to connect. And I just want to put, point this out because if someone boots this up and they try to, if they saved it like I did and they said, or if they know it, you know, their loopback address or their local IP with the port 9392, and they're saying, oh crap, it's not working. It's not able to connect. The reason why it's not able to connect because the service is not running. And the way you enable the service to run, let's X out of here you're going to go ahead and go to the Kali thing and you can just type in open VOS start right here. And this will go out and start the service. First, we have to put our fancy fancy password. And now if we go back to the URL, it should be good to go. So let's go ahead and give it a go. And then we'll go ahead and I'll walk you through updating it. I just want to show you. There you go. Now we're able to log in and we're all in business. Okay. We'll give that a second. Maybe it's not even fully booted up. Let's go back here. My, oh yeah. Okay. Cool deal. So let's just minimize this for now. Okay. And now let's get back to the point of this video is we're going to be updating the database. All right. So right here we, I have a, um, a script I can open up with with beam. Oh, this thing is super small. Uh, wow, this thing is really small. Let's see something. You know what? Let's open it up with leap hat. All right, cool. So now we can zoom this bad boy in. Uh, options. That's uh, fine. Okay, it's fine. So this is the script. You know, I want to keep this on the screen. Maybe you guys can take a screenshot of it and and all that good stuff. So this script and just save it as whatever dot sh. Like I have mine saved as openvos hyphen update twenty twenty dot sh. Okay. And I also have it somewhere else and I wanna I'm gonna be running it as well. So 
With that being said, let's go ahead and get to, let's get to business, all right? So let's minimize this. Let's go ahead and open up the terminal, all right? So first things first, I wanna go ahead and do an ls. I have a directory here called openvos update 2020. So if I can go into there and ls right here. So the first thing is, what I wanna show you guys right now, this specific file has executable rights because I already did this before. I, you know, in previous, um, I don't know, a week ago or so, just to just to update it because I had to I had to run it for something I was doing. That's why I created a new script right on my desktop. So if I do an ls dash la, and we can see this this file right here has executable rights. All right, so let's go ahead and go to desktop, right? LS. Now you see the difference. This one is green and this one is white. Okay. Now if I do an LS dash LA, whoops. You see here, we don't have the executable rights. When you create this from scratch, you will not be able to run it. So this is the problem. This will be the error you probably get. So if we do dot backslash open vos open vos dash uh, update 2020.sh bing you're going to get permission denied you will probably get that as well please be aware of that and don't freak out the way you fix it is this way you want to do a ch mod plus x and then open vos you know whatever you name your your uh, your shell script okay now I hit enter okay now if I go up 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 and now I can see we have executable rights here let's see if we can zoom this in a little bit just so we can take a better look okay cool let's bring this over bring this over this way a little bit more boom all right cool deal all right so with that being said we can actually go ahead and this is another thing so if you just go ahead and do this dot backslash open boss and it's going to go through its its process right now this is going to say authentication is required right so if i put my password and it's going to run my password again it's going to go through and i'm assuming it will fail boom it failed right so it did not synchronize blah 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 the reason being is because you have to run it as sudo okay so let's do this sudo open vos dot backslash open vos and my fancy fancy password all right so now this will go through and you see how it doesn't hasn't given any errors yet this is going to go through a process it's probably going to take uh, what is it right now? It's 8.15 p.m. So I'm going to guess it's probably going to take about 15 to 30 minutes. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video and I'll resume once this is, you know, once this resumes and we'll see how long it took. All right. So I'm going to pause it. We'll be uh, speaking soon. Thank you. All right, guys. So that took around almost 15 minutes. So just what I thought. So this is this is the complete process of the update. So it went through and it finished it right here. It says restarting the manager and restarted the, the scanner. So now let's go ahead and open up the open boss. We'll probably refresh this or probably log us out. Yeah, so we're gonna log back in and we'll give that a second. So now we're back into the Greenbone security system. So now the way we can check to make sure it updated and see that we have the latest and greatest um, information. So we can go to, if you have the dashboard scans, assets, et cetera, et cetera. If you go to sec info and all sec info right here, it will bring you to the latest and greatest. So you see created Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th. So we can click on here 
you know, this is a whole bunch of new vulnerabilities. So we can click on it and we can see, you know, the family, the, the OID, the version, the notes, et cetera, et cetera. And this is pretty much it. So let's go back. And for example, we can search, let's search Cisco. And let's see if any Cisco comes up and we'll see Cisco, you know, ASA. So like this version has a certain vulnerability so we can look at the vulnerability and firepower, um, FTD, firepower threat defense. Let's just, uh, I click this one. So, so there's no vulnerabilities reported. So let's see, for example, uh, do, do, do. WebEx. Let's see if it's going on with WebEx. And we can actually look at Windows 7. Windows, let's go back here and just put like Windows 7, just for, uh, just for grins. Because we know Windows 7 is EOL now, end of life. So if we go in here, type in Windows 7, we can see maybe there's some uh, Windows 7 vulnerabilities. Let's try to refresh this again. Let's go ahead and just type Microsoft. Microsoft. Let's see. This is pretty much what you can do and just look at vulnerabilities. So Microsoft Office remote code execution vulnerability. So this was on the 11th. So this was two days ago. And this is pretty much a mission, a missing patch. So, you know, with this vulnerability, you can, you know, look through it, et cetera, et cetera. You know, pretty much how are you going to check it? You know, you can check it, the impact. So if you have this vulnerability, what it can cause, we can have exploitations will allow an attacker. So we can pretty much run, you know, a code as the current user. And the vulnerability insight is like the flaws due to Microsoft Excel or Word fails to properly handle objects in memory. So, but yeah, this is pretty much it. And we can see the, the, the result of it if we, you know, had any, had any scans uh, that caught any vulnerabilities. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's go back to the dashboard. And that's pretty much how you update OpenVOS. And this is version, let's go to about, uh, oops, about. This is version 7.0.3, uh, 7 7.03. So this is, this is pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, the next video I'm going to do in this video series, I'll probably make three or four. This is the second one. I'll actually put maybe a Windows 2008 server or Metasploitable so we can actually run a scan on a live host. All right, guys, take care. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, much more to come. I really appreciate it. Cheers, man.